Simon Thomas opened up on the guilt his wife Darina sometimes feels following the death of his first wife Gemma. The presenter married his first wife Gemma in 2005 and share a son, Ethan. She died aged at the age of 40 from acute myeloid leukemia in 2017. He has since married Darina and said the family try their best to celebrate anniversaries relating to Gemma. I think sometimes you struggle a little bit with guilt, in particular around anniversaries, he said to Darina. I'm very comfortable with anniversaries as in I don't overthink them. I think the first year when you go through loss, those firsts are massive and every first is a hurdle to get over and with time it becomes easier. He added on Kate Ferdinand's Blended Podcast, I'm not one who, any anniversary, they're just for me, markers in time but from Ethan's point of view it's a would you like to do something? I think Darina sometimes feel, but we should be doing something. You'll ask me a few times leading up to an anniversary, what are you going to do? Do you want to do something with Ethan? Does Ethan want to do anything? He went on to say that sometimes his son doesn't feel like doing anything but will want to let a balloon off with a little message. I think sometimes you feel we should be doing more because of that guilt you feel that maybe we're not doing enough and I try to reassure Darina and say it's fine, he added. Darina agreed and said that she feels the guilt and takes on that and other people's sadness and loss. Simon previously discussed Gemma's tragic death and how he missed the vital signs of her leukemia. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz Newsletter. The former Blue Peter presenter appeared on This Morning in 2019 and admitted he failed to act upon a bruise that had appeared on her skin, which she said had been on her body for a number of weeks. ITV daytime presenters Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield asked Simon whether he recognized any of the symptoms at the time. Simon replied, absolutely not. And some are now so obvious when I look back on what was happening just days before Gemma fell seriously ill and was taken to hospital and diagnosed. There was this big bruise on her thigh and I remember saying to her where's that from and it came from a fall three weeks before when she'd broken her foot but that bruise hadn't gone. This is one of the telltale signs that something could be wrong. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror. Co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29